Was the dole ever... No. ..an option for...? No, you no. Ne You never gave the kids the option of the dole? No. That was no. the greatest thing my father ever done for me. Right. He just said, get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I spent six years on the dole in Galway, and I, I have to say that it was the making of me. Was it? In what sense? Why? Because I had freedom. I had freedom to decide what it was that I wanted to do. There were six of us living in a four-bedroomed house. One of the bedrooms had no window or natural ventilation. <laughs> and it used to be a hot press, but we turned it into a bedroom. And, <laughs> and we survived it and, and loved it. You know? Were they all on the dole? Every single one of us on the dole, yeah. And what did you do every day? We'd get up about 12 o'clock. <laughs> and, we'd and then we'd, uh, it'd often be warmer outside the house than it was inside the house. Yeah. So we'd walk around town for a few hours. <laughs> And then we'd come back and we'd eat with a big pile of spuds and we'd eat them and maybe if we had enough money for meat, we'd have meat. And then we'd have a massive pot of tea and we'd play cards all night. And I did that for five years and I swear to God... It was the making of you. What's your, fa what's your father do? <laughs> what does my father do? My father yeah. worked for Chagask. Yeah. Agricultural advisor. Yeah. So yeah. that was his gig. And, and had, you obviously had a good standard of education. I, I didn't do any work in school. I, I, no more... You had your leaving cert? Uh, yeah, but I didn't... I... I... You didn't want it. <laughs> they gave it to me as I was walking out the gates. I didn't want it. Yeah, but and, and after your leaving cert, did you have anything? Uh, nothing. Nothing? No. I'd have considered you now a waster. <laughs> I know you would, but I... You know, I, I can see myself this. calling around to I... take Katie out for a, a potato or something. And you... <laughs> I mean, if, if come Katie... Back to, come back to Galway for a cup of tea! If Katie <laughs> arrived... Now, look, she, obviously, your wife is very lucky to finish she married, but, I mean, if you'd arrived into my house now and Katie said, this is my boyfriend, what's he do? He's on the door. I said, I said he's all right now, cos you're not picks up and better than the fella on the door. You know what I mean? Like, a fella... Now, I mean... I have nothing wrong with the dole. People are entitled to the dole and everything else. But I think a fella of 18 that heads out to become employed by the dole... <laughs> would, drive me, would drive me bananas now. And, and look where I ended up. Yes, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I think that's what it is. You know, you know. Yeah, but it's... it's... Yeah, you're, you're an example. And, like, that's... The whole country should go on the dole. And say, if you could turn out like you, it's a good advertisement for the dole. You're a good advertisement of the doll. You know those little lads they put up on television? They should put you up on the doll, Tommy Tierney. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. yeah.